This is what I said. I'll have to see if the counter is going before I say it to me because I don't want to talk to nothing. Um. The topic of discussion around the community seems to rotate this way and that way. It never, you know, somebody will grab a topic and people will run with it. But um, we've been iced in. So I've uh, been piddling around some in the back, um, but watching a lot of YouTube today. And I watched. Uh, the day after the 1983 movie about the nuclear war and um, I was a very young man when I saw it the first time um, and the the movie scared me then not not in like oh running around, running around scared and I've seen the the English one too. The I personally think the acting was way better in the in the American version, but uh, neither one of them painted a pleasant picture. The consensus then was that. Uh, they hadn't depicted it horribly enough and that's what the trailer of the movie says and as far as you know the level of damage from ground explosion and stuff they're they're right but watching it the first time and then watching it you know, I hadn't watched that movie in 15 years. And I don't think I paid that close attention to it the last time I watched it. But I watched it this time. I mean, like, literally watched it. Watched it and, you know, with the wisdom of my years, I guess would be the best way to put that. And it goes a long ways to showing just exactly how people are going to act both sides of the deal. Uh, watched another movie called, it's an English movie, it's The Day of the Triffids. I read that book when I was 15, I guess, 14, 15, and I was very excited at the beginning of the movie because it looked like they were going to follow the storyline. They did not. Uh, they butchered it horribly. The book was way better than the movie. Um, But both, both of them were post-apocalyptic or apocalyptic movies. It made me get started thinking, well, what kind of movies do I have in my house? And all of them, even, even nine, the, about the little robot dolls or whatever, uh, trolls. Everything I got over there is a SHTF movie, one way or another. Um, Quigley Down Under. Um, the Quick and the Dead. You know, it's there's a theme going there. And what does that say about me? Does that say that I'm that I look forward to those kind of situations? Or is it just that I watch them because I want to understand the way things could go or might go or should or shouldn't go in situations like that? 
there's a lady on here, Systemic Divide. I need to do a VR for her. Um, you know, what was your first prep kind of deal? I can't remember. Honestly, can't remember what my first prep was. There's, there's, I've been trying, but I can't, can't remember what the first thing I got personally in preparation was for an event, a catastrophe. I was raised with this as a lifestyle to a degree. You kept, or we kept enough food in our house for a long, long time. We rotated it out and we went to the grocery store once a month. And there were other trips to the store for this or that if we were doing something special. We grew chickens and meat rabbits. Um, we kind of moved away from it when the kids got older for whatever reason. I don't think my mom ever gave up on it. Um, There's nothing wrong with it. I don't think I'll ever suffer prep or burnout. Because I don't prep like most people do. Prepping is not a new piece of gear. Prepping is not having the right bug out bag. It's not having the right rifle. It's not having the right flashlight. It's not having that stuff. Prepping is being generally prepared for disaster. The disaster that I truly fear is a biblical one. And it goes for three and a half years, minimum. So in theory, for me to be completely prepped, I have to be set up for three and a half years. I'm not until I get to where I could comfortably do three and a half years without any outside assistance. Can't afford to be burned out. I do fear the stupidity of humankind. We have the stored energy in the form of nuclear weapons to decimate civilization in the world. We can literally change the face of the planet with all the power power we have. There are men and women out there who feel it's their job to see to it that the population shrinks in a way that allows them to stay as the top of the food chain in the human food mill. I believe that. I believe that they don't even realize, some of them, but as if the most part, I don't even think they realize that they're working for the wrong side of, of the last fight. The Bible's full of hope, but it's also full of warnings. And I try to listen. I fear God. God is the only entity that has the ability to kill my soul. He's the only one. 
He can he can kill my flesh and cast me away from it. He's the only entity out there with that power. I fear him. And he has told me what's coming. He has told me what's coming down the pipe. He has told me basically what it's going to look like when it hits the air dispersal device. He has given me advice on how to be ready. Depending on how you read the Bible, he's actually told me specifically to be ready. I don't think I'll get burned out on purpose. I hope I don't. Because I believe that as a believer in the Bible, it's my duty to my God to do like he says and be ready. I mean, I don't think, uh, you know, $300 blue jeans and a $500 shirt are going to do me any better service than a $20 pair of Wranglers and a $15 shirt. They're just not. I got this one on clean. Yeah, I paid $5 for it. It's working fine. I like poking around in the commercial side of uh, prepping because it's interesting, it's fun. There's some stuff out there that I've considered because it looks handy. But for the most part, you need food, water, shelter, and bullets. The rest of it will handle itself. Y'all be blessed. Stay alive. Don't die. Don't get burned out. How are you supposed to get ready for what you don't know what you're getting ready for? Keep getting ready. Don't pick a thing and focus on that. Don't prepare for a solar windstorm or a super volcano or the green aliens or Sasquatches. Prepare for all of them. I'm getting ready for a dragon. Just saying. Y'all be blessed. Stella, don't die.